Father and son were involved in a car accident in which the father was killed and the son was seriously injured. The father was pronounced dead at the scene of the accident. The son was taken by ambulance to a nearby hospital and was immediately wheeled into an emergency operating room. A surgeon was called. Upon arrival and seeing the patient, the attending surgeon exclaimed, Oh my God, it's my son. Can you explain this? The answer may seem obvious to many of you. It's the mother. However, 40% of people don't get the answer. They come up with all sorts of permutations such as the son was adopted or it was a stepfather. Now this is an example of unconscious bias. Unconscious bias is a prejudice or an inclination that we have for or against someone or something. Unconscious biases are formed from a very young age, often by elements of our environment over which we have absolutely no control. In this training, we're going to dive into unconscious bias. We'll learn how it impacts our work and our personal lives. And we're going to introduce techniques that we can use to make better unbiased decisions. Now to achieve this, we will look at three core modules. The first one is understanding unconscious bias. What is it? How does it manifest itself? Why does it exist? In the second module, we're going to look at 15 common types of unconscious bias to create conscious awareness of which ones we may be susceptible to. Now, very often in these sorts of trainings, the unconscious biases that are focused on are based around gender and race. Now, we will, of course, address these two important areas of unconscious bias. However, we'll also look at many other areas of unconscious bias that impact our personal and our business lives. Because in business, unconscious bias isn't only about hiring or promoting the wrong person. It can actually lead to success or bankruptcy for companies. Now, the third part of the course is going to be about developing our unconscious bias action plan. So we'll look at three core approaches to addressing unconscious bias. So let's get started with module one, understanding unconscious bias. So what is unconscious bias and why does it exist? Depending on the research that you reference, we are bombarded with between 2 and 11 million bits of data per second. That data enters our systems through our five senses, visual, auditory, kinesthetic, olfactory and gustatory. Now we can only process that information at approximately 35 bits per second. So most of the data that enters our senses, over 99.99% of it, we delete. This process is totally unconscious. We've got no conscious control on which bits of data are coming in. And this is the root of unconscious bias because it's controlled by our unconscious mind. So it's these unconscious processes that we need to understand if we are going to deal with the question of how to manage unconscious bias. Our unconscious mind is where our emotions, our memories, and our personality traits are stored. It's a living encyclopedia of our personal history. Everything that we have experienced through life forms the person that we are. And these life experiences result in biases, some of them good, some of them not so good. But this is where our values, our beliefs and our habits are formed. It's only natural that different people filter information in different ways. As you look at the screen now, you'll be naturally drawn to some people more than others. And these decisions are unconscious and they're immediate. Research shows that it takes 250 milliseconds only to come to an opinion about someone. Research of juries indicates that we decide whether somebody is guilty or innocent within 30 seconds of seeing them. Now that's before they've even spoken. The decision is based on their appearance and how we code that experience, what it means to us. 
Now, this can clearly be a problem because if the way in which we code that experience is negative, we're going to have a negative opinion, a negative bias about that person. The good news, however, is that this can be addressed. And that, of course, is the objective of unconscious bias trainings just like this. Allowing this to go unchecked can be harmful. The meaning of a person's look to us is based on our experiences and our upbringing. However, that may not always be accurate. Just because somebody of a certain gender, race, age, size, did something in our past doesn't mean a similar person would do the same thing in the future. So the first step in addressing unconscious bias is to accept it's totally natural to have these thoughts. It doesn't make us a bad person. What defines us is not what we think, but how we act. The average human has 40,000 thoughts per day. That's nearly one thought every two seconds. Clearly, this process is unconscious. We have little or no control of when these thoughts pop into our mind, such as, I need to call the bank manager, or I've got to buy milk before I go home. What we do have control over is which thoughts we focus on. And this is very important when we consider that the average human also has 500 thoughts which we'd probably rather not have. Thoughts that may do harm to self or others, thoughts that we may feel ashamed of if we actually acted upon them. So this brings us to the key insights of this opening video. While we may not have much control over our unconscious thought process, we do have control of our conscious thought and which ones we focus on. This concept of conscious mind is going to be a key concept as we develop tools for managing unconscious bias. Our conscious mind is where judgments and evaluations are made, and it's controlled by the prefrontal cortex area of the brain, as opposed to the limbic or the emotional centers of the brain, which very much make decisions based on feelings. If I was to ask you, for example, have you ever bought anything that was maybe a little bit too expensive, but you felt like you deserved it? You'd probably say yes. Well, that was a decision that was driven by the emotional centers, not the logical, rational centers which calculate value. Now also, if I was to ask you, have you ever not bought something you could have easily afforded, but it didn't feel right? Once again, you're probably going to say yes. So in both these situations, the emotional brain has trumped the logical brain because so many decisions are made emotionally. And this is very much at the core of unconscious bias. Because many of the worst decisions we make, ranging from gender-based to racial discrimination, from illusions of superiority to, to affinity type biases, and many, many more, are at the core of not understanding how the brain is making these decisions. As we go through this training, we are going to discuss how we can raise that conscious awareness so we make better conscious decisions in both our personal and our business lives. In the next video, we shall start this journey by studying how unconscious biases make us act.